with Happy Halloween on it, created in Corel Draw, and then using my universal laser system, that's a 3.60. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to kind of walk you through how I did this, and I'd love to hear if you have any comments and better ways to do it. I kind of like the burn on the edges here, but that's just because it's kind of out of focus. The tables we're working on. There's another oak slab table we're working on. So I'm going to start right over here. There's my pumpkin. I try and keep them down to about under right, six so inches. So here's my pumpkin. I don't know. Let me see. Maybe six inch diameter across, five and a half inches high. I'm going to kind of find the flattest face to laser engrave on. Maybe that's the face right there. I'm going to have that standing up. So I don't want it to roll around or move in there, and I want to hold that flat face up. So I'm just going to screw this board to it. One thing I noticed is I don't actually want to penetrate the pumpkin at all, because it'll rot out quicker. So I'm going to try and get the screw right into that part of it. pretty good like that so there's my pumpkin it's pretty solid there's my flat face on top to figure out the overall height I'm just going to put a level on the top of that and you know this is not going to be perfect but then I'll figure out the overall height just an approximation I call that about six inches maybe a sixteenth over so about six inches take that over to the laser cutter and then see how that goes. I place down in the laser cutter and I just kind of get a ballpark of where it's centered like on the x-axis it's probably about five over and it's actually too dark for me to see. I'm probably about five. I'm in Corel 2018 and I'm going to just write a text box of happy Halloween on there so I go to my text box right here and you can see that and create a text box Probably, you know, in the range of four inches or so, four by four. Then inside that text box, I'm going to type in Happy Halloween. And once that's typed in, I'm going to stay in that text box and highlight it. I'll make it a 72 font. I'm going to center it in the middle of that text box and with it highlighted I'm going to go over to my font style and maybe I'll use something like that. That looks good. So that's kind of it. So you can follow all that. I go up here, I hit file, print. That's going to actually not print it, even though it's saying print, it's really just sending it to the driver. Um, for the universal laser. So then I'm going to minimize this, open up the universal 3.60 laser. This is relocate view. I'm going to snap on that center square. And again, I'm just approximating the center of that pumpkin. Is it five in the X, five in the Y and hit enter. Now that I do that, I could check it with this focus view. So with focus view on and the lid open, I'll clip in the top left hand corner and you can see where it is so that's actually a pretty good location for it i'll click in the lower left corner that's wrapped pretty far around i could use a smaller font or smaller box size lower right corner upper right corner so it's too far left so that means i want to move the whole thing to the right a little bit so the way I'm going to move it to the right, I'm going to come back over here, go back to relocate view. I'm going to move it to the right, so that's my x-axis. Maybe I'll move it about five and a quarter inches over, enter. And then I'll go back to my laser, check the lower right corner. There's the lower right corner. Check the lower left corner. Yeah, it's a lot better. I like the way it's centered top to bottom, but here's the lower left corner again. Here's the lower 
right corner. Actually, that looks good. And then I'm going to go back over here. I'll go to settings. I mean, they don't have pumpkin on here, but I'm going to try it as a wood. I'll go natural, wood. I think I'll go hardwood. Um, I think I'll just try general hardwood on that setting. And then when I checked it, I think it was just six inches tall. So I'm going to enter six, apply. That's a warning that says you can't cut through that. Well, that's okay. Yes. Okay. Let me close the lid. Make sure you turn the vac on, then I'll hit play right there, see what we have. There it goes. Take a look at that pumpkin. I think it actually looks pretty good. You know, it's wrapping around the edges a little bit. Um, here's a logo I like a little bit more. Um, you know, it's probably from one inch over to four. I'll make it just a little bit bigger, maybe from one, one to just under five. What I'm gonna do first with this is I'm gonna go trace bitmap, outline trace logo. Now I'm gonna convert this to a vector. It'll be a lot cleaner cut. Make sure you have delete original image here. That looks pretty good. Actually, so that looks good right there. Again, I go file, print. That'll send it to the VLS 3.60. Um, there it is. I kind of forgot my dimensions, but I'm going to click on the center of that. I think it was like five and five and a quarter. But we'll double check that. So it's centered there. And then I did that while this thing was running. There's our happy Halloween. See if I can rotate it around. And we'll run that jack o' lantern face on that right there. That's actually pretty flat. That looks pretty good. Center line more looks like five and a half by five and a quarter. Let's go over here and try that. Set this to five and a half by five and a quarter. And then I'm gonna hit this laser focus and then I'll, that'll be the very top. That yeah, looks good. The bottom. That actually looks pretty good. Then I'll just hit play. And on the back, that guy right there, looking a little cooked on the corners, but smelling good like pumpkin pie.